here for pen to print and I'm so excited because we've got another one of our finalists here today. This is the amazing Rebecca. <laughs> Woo! Um, and you're a full-time teacher. Yes, yeah. Why did you decide to enter pen to print um, I've always wanted to write, even since I was quite small. And I've had a little bit of interest in publishers, but not been able to get anything published. Mm. And this felt like a really good opportunity to go that bit further and get that extra input, yeah. really. And what is currently happening at the moment in the process? So you're obviously one of, you submitted your chapter. You're one yeah. of the finalists. There's 10 of you. What is happening right now? Okay, so I've met my mentor a few times. We're meeting fortnightly. She's really been very helpful at giving me that extra input and holding me to account. So it's quite motivating. I feel like I need to share something with her the next time we meet up. And that's quite exciting to think, oh, I can work on this chapter and show yeah. her next time. We're particularly looking at the structure of the story and particularly focusing on the ending because it is part of a series of books or a trilogy, hopefully. Mm. But I want oh. to have a clear ending to the first book as well as yeah. looking ahead to the trilogy. So she's really helped me to balance those, those things in terms of structure. Do you actually find that more difficult? Because most people that have entered, they've obviously got one set book in mind but you're kind of now forward planning even more is that more difficult in a way or is it more exciting I suppose it's exciting and it gives me a depth I suppose to the characters and the plot mm. but the structurally knowing when to stop or where to finish things is, is the thing to work on really yeah <laughs> and I have to ask this question because you're a teacher how do you find the process because now rather that you're obviously marking your, your, the school kids um, and now someone's in theory kind of marking your work how, how is that going it, I think it really helps I am a teacher because I understand that process I understand why someone is correcting my work and I understand that it's part of improving it overall I actually find that quite helpful but I have found myself going back to the children quite a lot mm. explaining that even adults have to do that editing and actually sharing the process with them has, yeah. has helped quite a bit really yeah I think that's really nice actually <laughs> it's like you're kind of like in their shoes now. very much very much yeah <laughs> um and how has the mentoring helped you because with pen to print not only do you get the opportunity to become a published author you also get this mentoring support how do you feel that's really helped you progress it's just that extra pair of eyes and a professional extra mm. pair of eyes as well really as I say I'd had a certain amount of interest in it but not quite got there and the last publisher I spoke to had said she liked it she liked the first few chapters she'd read but she felt it wasn't quite ready to publish mm -hmm. and I knew I knew I needed to improve it but I wasn't sure about specifically how and it's helped to have someone come alongside and look at that and point out those things to me yeah. um, which has pointed me in the right direction really. And what has been your favourite thing about pen to print so far? I mean has it like kind of added anything to your your life? I think it's just given me that encouragement and that incentive to keep going, really. The fact that people have obviously looked at it and shortlisted me means that there is something that is a hook that draws people in. Mm. It means, you know, it encourages me that the story's got something and there's something worth saying there. It means it's worth doing the hard, hard graft of uh, improving yeah. the rest of it, really. So, yeah. <laughs> and what would you say to anyone watching this that wants to enter this competition because I actually really need to emphasize this point that like, this is an amazing yeah. opportunity to get your book published and I think more importantly get that support as well from people I would say definitely have a go it's something that I saw um, shortly before I was going on holiday in the summer actually I thought oh I could do that and I didn't actually have much time but I really yeah. felt it was a good opportunity and I'm really glad I did obviously um it's very open as well. It doesn't matter what genre you're writing or whatever. So actually, there's, there really is a place for everybody. And I think looking at the 10 finalists, I think we're probably writing quite different things. So it really yeah. is a very open thing. If you've got a story to tell or even a non-fiction book that you want to get out there, then mm. give it a go. Love yeah. that. Give it a go. <laughs> and is there anything when people, so now they've made that decision that, yes, because Rebecca says enter, we're <laughs> going to enter. Um, is there anything in that entry that you, I mean, with your entry, is there anything you think you did that made you stand out? Do you need to, I don't know, put anything, like, does something dramatic need to happen or? Um, for me, like, I'd, I'd worked on that opening chapter and quite a bit with sending it to different publishers. Mm. I think the synopsis is really important as well because you're asked to submit a first chapter and a synopsis. Yeah. And I think being quite accurate in your synopsis about having, pointing the reader really, which obviously the people judging it are your readers for the purpose of that. Mm. Um, 
having enough in the synopsis that points ahead to where the story is going without the detail, but that will make them feel, okay, I like this chapter, I want to read more, and looking at the synopsis, I feel like there is more to it. So that, the synopsis is, is as important as the first chapter, I would say. That's really good advice. <laughs> because I think most people would be like, oh, we'll just write a paragraph, that's enough, and just send it off. Um, thank you so much. Don't forget to follow us on social media because we're going to um, be updating you on Rebecca's journey, what is going on, how far she is in the process. So if you want to keep up to date, just follow us on Instagram and Twitter at official pen to print. And is there any last bit, I don't know, maybe one sentence of motivation that you can give if someone's really... I don't know, maybe they don't have that confidence and they think, do you know what, why should I enter? My writing's not that good when it probably actually is. I really believe that everyone has a story in them and joining pen to print will mean with that mentor, there's someone who will draw that story out of you. That is great advice, Rebecca. Thank you so much. If you want to be like Rebecca, you've got an idea for a book, you want to become a published author and you want this free mentoring support as well, all you've got to do is go to lbbd.gov.uk forward slash pen to print and you can become a published author. Thank you so much for watching and um, I'll actually leave Rebecca's links below as well because you are on Facebook and uh, Twitter as well. So you can right. also follow along on what Rebecca is doing. We'll see you next week. Bye. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>